Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Uh, a new video for this month is carrying on from what we are doing is the the Van Home Fast and Furious built the legendary Dodge Charger in 1 8 scale. So this month we've got issues 11, 12, 13 and 14 and going through we're actually doing the engine um, really seems like it's getting exciting. I'm, I can't wait to sort of get the main body parts and things like that and obviously that's going to take time but let's move these three out of the way and then we'll I'll show you what we've got for the next or for this stage so in this one we've got the kings of tuning showing all the things about something about Dennis McCarthy whoever that is I'm not too sure got the Dodge Challenger our SRT Demon um, and then in this stage in the, in the center it's showing assembling the front right wheel so obviously we're carrying on with another wheel for the front part of the chassis and then we're assembling or putting the wheel onto the chassis once the wheels assembled and then we've got Richard Hammond uh, from the track to the drawing board so a bit of information about him with the uh, McLaren, the, the Mercedes McLaren and then a bit more we've got some sort of all sorts of cars there so yeah right so what we'll do is enough of that one and we'll just skip into that get this one out and we shall start doing the wheel So these are fairly difficult to get out. Alright, okay, so got the tie up, and then we've got the metal rims and everything like that. And then we've also got the hubcap and some screws as well. So we shall put that to one side. And then what we will need is we will need the front of the rim and we will need the poly bag with the there it is with the that has the dust cap or the the, the valve inside it's a very small piece so you've got to be very careful so we've got the little piece there just there like that and it says, take the outer part of the rim, 11B, on the inside of the rim, there is a notch with a small pin in the middle. Slide the tyre valve onto the pin. So if we just look, and make sure we've actually got the, th yep, so there we go. We've actually got the notch there. So all we need to do is just basically place the tyre valve on, like so. And then what we do is grab the tire, making sure that the tire tread is the right way, but then it seems as though it's universal anyways. Um, and then we get the second part of the rim, making sure that the, um, the notch where the valve would be on this side as well, that lines up. So we're just Get that lined up to where it should be. And there we go, right. Okay, so we put that down. And then it says, once the two parts of the rim are aligned, insert three HM screws into the three holes. So we've got three of the holes there. We get our trusty screwdriver. And then we get three of the HM screws, which we've got here. That's one, two, and three. Okay, so we load that up. 
So these are going into metal as well. So just start the start the screws off. So that is that one. That's two. And then the third one. It's not wanting to go in for some apparent reason. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all three in we can then tighten that up make sure you don't round the heads off either um, there we go so that's the next wheel done okay so now it says slide the front reel onto the uh, we, you just made onto the axle spindle so we get the chassis that we carried on from last time and we also have a notch in the brake uh, assembly um, which will then align up to what we've got there so just line that up making sure that it's the right way around There we go, and then that is, oh no, we then grab this washer and one IM screw, okay, put the screw there, and then get the IM screw, oh the, the washer, sorry, get the washer, get the IM screw, And then place that onto the screwdriver, making sure that it's level. There we go. So that's a bit tight there. And there we go. So we now have two wheels on, and then I turn the page. We then grab 11E, which is the hub cap or the hub cover. We locate the pins into the corresponding places onto the wheel as well, as you can see. And then we just clip that into place like so. So there we go. We've now got two wheels on our on the front on the chassis, and it actually turns, which is really good. So there we go. Right. Okay. So that now completes that stage. So we can now move that to one side. And then we can move on to stage 12. So open it up. We have undercover agents. So obviously we'd have Letty as well. Um, and going on about some other bits as well. Uh, the Dodge Cars race at Le Mans. In the 24 hour Le Mans. And in, then is in this issue we're assembling the gearbox. So that's going to be interesting. So obviously showing all the parts there. Um, we've got the Wutaru Kato, Daring and Irreverent. So obviously it's a modification thing or something like that. Talking about Kaidu races. And then obviously how they put wide arch or what wide body kits on. And that is it really. So, okay, what we do then, we grab the pieces again from, from issue 12. Oh, making sure that we don't throw away the screws because I've left the screws out of the out of the thing this time. There 
Okay, so I can get the screws out. First of all, it says put the flange 12F or uh, 12F onto and the gearbox oil pan 12E, ensuring well together ensuring that the pieces are facing the same way, and we join them with two AM screws. So we've got two holes that are here, and then we line them up with the two holes over here with the notches that are onto there, and then like it says, like I said, we just assemble that with two AM screws. So we just tip the screws out because obviously we'll need more than one or more than two screws or whatever you would like to say. So just screw that in, start that off. That's the first one started. And then we can then just tighten that up, making sure that's in secured or insecurely. There we go. So there we've got the the gearbox oil pan and the flange put together. So next part, we need the left side of the gearbox housing which is this big piece here. Now, obviously these are all metal as well, so um, we align the hole in its screw post with the hole in the oil flange, as shown. Look at the illustration carefully to ensure that the pieces are facing the right way, join them together with an AM screw. So we've got one hole there, and then we've got one hole there, with a little notch at the side here as well. And we just align that together. Make sure we got it aligned properly. And then we can just screw that in. And there we go. So we've got the first part of the gearbox housing done. So we put that to one side. Now it says mount the left side shaft housing onto the right side housing and join the two with two AM screws. So we've got the left and the right, and then we join these up with the two corresponding holes again, making sure they're flush. And then we just make a start on that. Get the other screw. There we go, so we tighten those up. There we go. Okay, so it says attach the assembled output shaft housing to the left side of the gearbox housing using an AM screw shown. So we've got it according to the instructions, we've got it that side with this pin facing down as well. And then we align this hole and this square rectangle a bit or something like that onto here with this hole. And it will go together like that with one AM screw. So we just line all this lot up. And tighten it up. Make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't move anything about. There we go. Okay, so we've got the gearbox housing and the shaft housing together. And then attach the right side of the gearbox housing to the parts you just assembled. So we then grab the right side and obviously just place it into place put it into place flip it over and then we attach it with two AM screws 
to hold into place. Make sure that bites as well. There we go. Feel it biting as soon as you get that in there as well. So I've just tighten those up. Okay, so next part, it says the two pieces of the starter motor, or assemble the two pieces of the starter motor, 12G and 12H, join them together with an AP screw. So we've got two, these two here, and they are plastic. So we have, it goes on this end, we've got like a little notch sticking out there, and then we've got a notch there as well, so we line those up together and then the notch goes like that. Put that one side, and then we just get the one AP screw. If, I can, if it will come out, of course. So obviously, as always, if it ends with M, then it means it going into metal. And if it ends with P, it goes into plastic. Let's just make sure that's all the way down. Making sure you don't strip the thread because obviously plastic. And then the, the starter motor must be attached to the left side of the gearbox housing using with uh, with two CM screws. So we've then got two holes here, or three holes, but we've got two holes on the starter motor with one peg or one locating pin, and it will then just attach like so onto there. And then we get two CM screws. Okay. So then just locate that back again with, like I said, with the locating pin. And start that one off. So that's the first one in. It's fallen out again. So if it falls out, just relocate it. And then once you've got that into place, you can then over you can retighten that first screw. And that completes issue 12. So we'll put the book to one side again. So that's stage 12 done. Um, and then we'll put these two AM screws back into the bag because obviously we don't know if we will need them again. Don't want to be getting screws uh, mixed up. So it goes on about Dom's sister, Mia Toretto. Um, and obviously how she goes on through the film um, the actress's name is Jordana Brewster. Um, then we've got the Dodge Brothers, when they obviously first built their, built the first Dodge. And then we've got Assembling the Engine Block 1. So we've got part one of Assembling the Block at the moment. All orange pieces. Going through, showing what you got. And you've got a passion of, from tr uh, for tuning. Uh, deluxe interiors different types of wheels and that's basically what it's showing there as well so go back to that stage move that to one side and we have quite some some very big parts in this so we then 
grab all this lot. We shan't take it out of the packaging. Okay. Well, actually, we'll take the bags out because we'll need them. So we've got AP and we've got AM screws as well. So, yeah. Okay, so it says align the linchpin inside of the oil filter with the hole in the base of 13A or 13B with 13C. So, uh, I don't know where to oh, there we are. Making sure we've got our tweezers. Because if you can't get them out, then we can just use the tweezers then. Okay, so we've got these two. These two pieces are plastic. So we've got a connecting pin or a locating notch as well. And that will just connect into like that. And that is connected with one AP screw. Okay. So relocate that into position like so. Load up our screw. And then just line everything up. There we go. So now that's biting. Making sure, there we go. Okay, so be careful when you put the screw in because it can push the part away. So now, it's saying now attach the piece you've just made to the left bank of the engine block, 13A. Okay, so I'm assuming that it's this big piece here. This is metal as well. So what we do is we get this locating pin and the notch there into the same position over there so it just places like so and that is attached with one AP screw as well okay so load the screw up and then that goes through the hole that is just there down below but then the screw does not want to stay in position for some reason there we go there we are so we've got that in There we go, so we've got the oil filter into place with the bracket as well. So now it says find the reticular, rectangular groove on the top surface of the left bank, uh, 13A, and put the left engine mounting bracket into the groove with the longest arm facing the oil filter. So we've then got this piece here. So we've got, make sure that the bit is facing down and that is your left side and then we just place that oh no that sorry that's not the left one that's the right one so making sure we've got the right one there so it will face up the bits will face up and they are attached with two AM screws so we've got a big bag of screws here or a bag full of AM screws so tip out what we need <coughs> excuse me so make a start on that grab the second one There we go. There we are. So that's the, the first side done with the engine mounting as well. So it says take the gearbox you assembled in the last session. So obviously in stage 12. 
which is here, and position it as shown in the illustration. Align the holes in the protruding rectangular piece on the base of the gearbox with the two holes on the inside of the wall of the left bank. So we've got these two holes here and they will line up with this notch and these two holes here, just like so. And they are attached, or that is attached with two AM screws as well. So just start that off. There we go. And then we we'll just tighten those up again. Now that that is in position. There we go. So that is a bit wobbly actually. Not too sure as to why that's wobbling because yeah, that's as far as I can actually go with that. It might actually sort itself out once I've actually got the other side done. So we put that to one side and then we get the right side uh, engine mounting bracket and basically do the same again on the right side of the engine locate it with the, the groove and the two holes as well and then just load up your screw again start that off There we go. Tighten that up now. There we go, that's one. And then that's two, there we go. Okay, so we then turn the page. It says now put the two banks to, of the engine block together and align by aligning the holes on the two halves and fix them with two AM screws. So making sure that's the right way, fix them with the two holes together, the two pins. And then we've got the two holes there, and they are joined together with two. AM screws. So let's just drop them in. Just make sure we start that off. There we go. And there we are. So we've got the engine halves together now. That's actually stopped it from wobbling, which is pretty good. And then now attach the sump cover, 13E, which is this piece here. <coughs> Ensuring that it is facing the same way as shown in the illustration, attach it to the engine block with two AM screws. So we've got a different way, different shape either side. So the thinner side here, You've got a longer side and a small, shorter side. The shorter side will face at the front, and that goes into position like that. And that is attached with two AM screws as well. So first, start that one off. There we go, so we started those off, and now we can just tighten it all up, there we go. So 
still a bit wobbly. I don't think the screws have gone in properly. Yeah, it's not wanting to go in properly. That is actually showing that is that is as far as it will go. So that's all, that's I'll leave that for now. Put these screws back. And that completes stage 13. So we'll move over to the next stage. Stage 14 goes on about hip, uh, hip songs. Obviously you've got Ludacris and some other things as well. And then we've got Dodge Charger from 1966 to 1978. So it goes from the first Dodge Charger and then we are assembling the, assembling the engine block part two. So carrying on with the engine block, going through with the, the valves, valve covers. Turbocharger, maximum performance. So obviously what a turbocharger does, what it looks like. And then obviously exhaust valves and other things like that. So we've got all that lot into there. Like so, right, we then grab the next bag that we've got and then open this packet up. There we go, okay, so we've got DP screws and we've also got CM screws as well. Right, so it says take one of the oil filler caps, which is one of these, and slide it onto the corresponding screw onto the two valve covers and attach with a DP screw. Okay, so, so we've got two to do, so I'll just get the two screws out. There we go. Uh, get our screwdriver. And then the oil filler cap will go on the top of this notch here. Judging by what it is, it has no way of actually being located. So just plonk it on there and then that is it. Let's screw that all the way down. And there we go. So we've got the first one on. And now we grab the second one. And repeat the same again. Place that onto there. Making sure we don't over tighten, but make sure that the filler cap doesn't spin round. There we go. Okay, so it says cover the DP screw head with a cap cover, 14E, and press it gently into place. Press, da press down gently to attach it. So we've got two covers, and they will go on top of here. And these are plastic as well, so be very careful in doing these plonk that one onto there now these don't need gluing because they just are push fit and they are quite snug so that's good put them to one side for the moment um, and then we grab the engine block grab attach the left bank cylinder head 14a located with an L on the bottom to the left side of the engine assembled engine block ensure that it is facing the same way as shown in installation and attach with two cm screws so grab these out so it's it all right so that's an r and then we've got an l as well 
So making sure that that goes the right way, it will go that way like so. And then we've got CM screws. Tip the bag out because we've got quite a few. And then we just screw down into the holes like so. Without dropping the screwdriver, of course. There we go. So that is in place now. Um, now it's showing to put these headers on, but I'm not going to put the headers on just yet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to this side and I'm actually going to put this side on as well. So we've then got both parts on. Because obviously if I hold the plastic, it could be a possibility could damage it when putting this side on. So don't think don't understand why they didn't think of that. But I'll let them off on that we can let them off on that one. There we go, just tighten them up, there we go, right okay, I'm going to have to sort that one out, because that bit out, because that is very wobbly, okay, so then we get the, f uh, we then go back to the left side, and then put, put the previously assembled valve cover onto the cylinder head, and show that the both pieces are facing the correct way, and join them with four CM screws. Okay, so I'm assuming that it doesn't really matter which way this actually goes. So just plonk that on. And then we've got four holes here and then four holes on the valve cover itself. So I take four screws. That's one. And that's two. So we then carry that on. With all four. There we go. Okay, so now it goes on about saying putting the second valve cover together but I've already done that so then we repeat that on the same side and again with this four corresponding holes just line everything up make sure you've got everything you've got get the screws again so we've got all four screws oh that one doesn't want to go in there 
Now it does. Right, there we go. There we go. Third one. And then, last of all, put the last screw in. And there we go. So that now completes the assembly and that actually completes the full lot for this month. So we've completed the engine block um, of what we've done this month. And we've also done what we can with the chassis as well. So if I can, if I'm trying to figure this out, I would imagine it would go somewhere like so. There we go. So that is pretty damn cool. I've got the engine in there in place with all the valve, uh, the valve covers and everything like that. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it for this month for, for that, for this, um, for the build, build the Dodge Charger. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, drop a thumb, uh, thumbs up, leave a like waiting or whatever you want to call it. Uh, drop us a comment down, let us know what you're thinking of this so far. Always glad to know how you guys are thinking about this. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you've just found out that I'm doing this, then please subscribe. You'll always be notified, or click the bell as well, you'll always be notified that I will post a video up, or when I post a video up. Um, and if you want to support my channel, then I'll post a link to my Patreon, where all po proceeds will go, uh, proceeds made will go towards building this and all the other stuff that I do on my channel. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next month for the Fast and Furious uh, builds, stay tuned for my next videos, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.